we are sitting in the Eastern Shore Conservation Center, which is a, is a co-location center. It's a hub for conservation activity. So it's a shared office facility for most of the major conservation groups in the region, including when all were previously our partners and now are stronger partners, but groups like the Chesapeake Bay Foundation that you'll be talking to, the Nature Conservancy, the Town Creek Foundation, Ducks Unlimited is in the building. Uh, we have a new solar startup that's a microgrid solar startup in the building. We also have a clergy group that's looking at conservation is issues and trying to uh, weave the tapestry of our spiritual backgrounds into a more enlightened uh, environmental future. Uh, so it's, uh, there's a whole bunch of conservation organizations housed under the same roof, taking advantages of economies of scale and uh, having a beer on Friday nights together. Uh, we've so. been in the building here since last November. Um, I, you know, the cliche is, you know, the water cooler conversations, but literally when we go over to the water cooler and we see each other there, um, you know, we talk about stuff, kids, family, what's going on with different projects that you're working on and stuff comes out of it. And it's, it's exciting. And so that whole section of the, of the. Um, building is what they call the hot desk section. So they're both Bishop Joel and I have an actual office with a door that closes that we're able to rent. Um, but for a small amount or reasonable amount of money, people can lease a seat at the table. Um, so they have access to Wi-Fi, the kitchen, the space, the meeting rooms, um, a printer, and of course the most important part, which is this this fabulous community of people. So these are all organizations that we've worked with and we've partnered with for many years and this is to be able to to have that integration of of ideas and and to see your colleagues that you work with on a daily basis it's just you know anytime you can bring people together to talk about best practices and initiatives and ideas in person, it's a lot better than doing it, you know, on a conference call or trading emails, which has become all too easy to do. But I'm encouraged by it uh, because we're all trying to make progress. And, you know, some of our groups have more resources than others, but, you know, uh, our group, for example, has 180 people. But we're trying to serve 17 million residents in the Chesapeake Bay watershed over six states. You know, the more that we can reach out to different organizations that are trying to engage communities on important issues, the stronger we are.